in trouble. Uh, uh, fusion's coming. Senor Fusion, the comic book hero? Is this some kind of joke? No joke. Motion picture. All oh, right, a Senor Fusion movie. This is awesome. At last, my childhood dream has come true. I can't wait to see it again. You know, after the first time I see it. I know what you mean, Spinelli. I figure I'll see it 50, maybe 60 times before the month's over. But the most important time is number one. That's why I'm going to be first in line at the very first showing of the first ever Senor Fusion movie. Wrong, Detweiler. I'll be first in line. Keep dreaming, Lawson. I'll be first, because I'm Senior Fusion's numero uno fan. Dream on, Detweiler. I'm number one. I hate to break it to you, gentlemen, but neither of you can be first. The premiere is at 11 a.m. Friday, and unless I'm mistaken, you'll both be in school. Yeah. Yeah, and Miss Grogi scheduled a spelling test that morning. Well, you dopes might have a spelling test, but I have this. A permission slip to get me out of school, signed and ready. Enjoy your test, dumb Weiler. In 20 minutes, I'm off to Scandinavia for the rest of the week. <laughs> I hate that guy. There's no way Lawson's gonna be first at that movie, even if I have to ditch school to beat him. Don't even think it, TJ. Yes, uh, ditching for a grade is very serious. It could lead to harder stuff like, like, ditching college. Don't do something you'll regret, man. Sure, you can make a later show. Trust me, TJ, it's for your own good. Is it, Vince? Tell that to my achy, breaky heart. Young citizen, I certainly did not mean to cause you or your planet any trouble. Senior Fusion? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Couldn't resist messing with your head. <laughs> Great gag, mister. Should be good. Spent practically my whole life in showbiz. <sighs> what am I gonna do? What would you do, senor? You'll teach evil a lesson you'll never forget. Teach a lesson. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, senor Fusion. Thanks a lot. And then it hit me. Fusion went and gut school, and neither will I. So you're not going to the movie on Friday? Sure I am. And you're all coming with me. What? Your hat's on too tight. How are we going to do that? Hush up a second, I'll tell you. First of all, uh, Miss Grokey, can we wrap? Of course, Christian. What is it? Well, I'd like to propose a field trip this Friday to the first showing of Senior Fusion, the motion picture. Now, I know what you're thinking. A Hollywood blockbuster, where's the academic value in that? But did you know that the movie strongly advocates nuclear disarmament? It does? And yes, Senior Fusion is rapidly anti-nuclear. He got arrested for demonstrating in issue 995. Really? Well, perhaps a trip to the movie dome could be edifying after all. When? I'm telling you, Coach, what's a better example of peak physical condition than Senior Fusion leaping between skyscrapers with a meddling lady bounty hunter hanging onto his patented gadget belt? I gotta admit, LaSalle, it sounds good. Excellent representation of the movie dome, guys. Gee, thanks, Mr. Dunn. You know, that building is one of our town's true architectural landmarks, mixing elements of the neoclassical with the modern. Gee, us kids could sure learn a lot about architecture at the old movie dome with someone like you tagging along. Hmm, perhaps I could propose a proposal. <laughs> Here. Oh, Principal Prickly, uh, here. What's this? A petition signed by the faculty of Third Street School demanding a right to take our students to the opening of the new Sea Fusion movie. Oh, this is just like the 60s. Sending kids to a premiere during school hours? Gee, is that all? How nifty. Are you people insane? The Board of Education would have my head. I told them it was a bad idea, sir. The answer is no. <laughs> now all you kids get back to class. As for you teachers, I'll deal with you later. Wait! Don't punish them, sir. This is all my idea. I just have to be at that Senior Fusion premiere. I see. Well, that well, let me say this about that. Tough noogies. And I know you want to be there, too. What are you getting at, boy? I happen to know you're a senior fusion fan just like me. <gasps> what? That's ridiculous. What makes you think I'm a fusion fan? Well, first of all, only his fans call him fusion. Second of all, I've seen senior fusion comics hidden under your stack of gawking for teachers magazines. All confiscated from miscreants like you. And third of all, what about this? My fan club card. Give that back. Now, enough of this foolishness. Get back to class. Yeah, yeah, we're going. But any real fusion fanatic will be at that first show on Friday. That's something you fair weather fans don't appreciate. What was that? You heard me. You're nothing but a fair weather fan. Oh, I am, am I? Well, let me tell you something, kid. I forgot more about fusion than you'll ever know. I beg to differ. I happen to be king of the fusion freaks. Is that so? Yes, it is. And I'll prove it to you. Ten senior fusion trivia questions. Ask me whatever you want. I get them right, you let us go to the movie. But if you miss one question, just one, then you become my new filing assistant, helping Minimal over the rest of the year. And you have to call me Principal Fusion from now on. Fusion lore, eh? Ever seen one of these? A senior electricity action figure. Didn't know that was his original name, did you? I've heard things. I wish I could hear what they're saying in there. Let's start off with something easy. Ah, oh, perfect. Question one. What object at Senior Fusion NBN in issue 524? Trick question. Fusion would never have the mortal emotion of envy. His keen interest was mistaken for envy by the evil yet unimaginative wisdom of ooze. 
they get harder. Oh, that's happening down before the question. Hard candy, but the Chewy Center is worth double. Senior Fusion crossed over into the Super Team during its Millennium Predicament story arc. True or false? False. He was only a member of the Super Team for two issues after their Millennium Predicament arc was over. True or false? The lightning bolt shaped scar on Fusion's shoulder was caused by his costume melting as he flew too near the sun. False. His Bolero jacket, a gift from Through the Money, cannot melt. True. He never leaves home without a big magnet. Twice. Once when he ran for president, and once when he moved to the suburbs and had a wacky dance for a neighbor. Sandy Brown. Issue 254. Senior Fusion, we hardly knew you. And I, aren't we clever? <laughs> Okay, Mr. Big Pot Shot Jr., one last question for all the marbles. Bring it on, sir. What was the name of Senior Fusion's one and only sidekick? Sidekick? I didn't even know he had a sidekick. That, uh, that's from the Golden Age, isn't it? Oh, man, Teeth doesn't have any comics from the Golden Age. That's right, and a Golden Age it was. This beauty's older than your parents, Stepilot. Is he sunk? Are we all? I'm afraid a perfect score is your only ticket to the movie, and unfortunately, time is running out. Five, four, three, two. Wait, you want the married name or maiden name? Because her maiden name was Vivian Waxbelter until she was tricked into marrying the diabolical Doctor Despicable. She was Vivian Despicable until she banished him to ice prison on Krillin shortly after their wedding and went back to using Waxbelter. A fusion called her Femi Fatale because although she was feminine, oh, was that damn deadly. That is absolutely wrong. What? It, it can't be wrong. Well, it is, Mr. know all So there, her nickname was Femme Fatale, not Femi Fatale, as you so wrongly stated. The E's are silent. So, I look forward to you helping me out with my filing. Starting Friday. Oh, 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 oh. He lost. I, I need to lie down. You mean, you're claiming victory because I mispronounced some words? Rules are rules, kid, and you lose. Okay, I get it. I've been tricked. Beating on a technicality. That's so adult. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let the door hit you on the way out. You know, Principal Prickly, this is about the most unfusion like thing I ever saw a fusion fan do. The great senior doesn't stand for tricking guys and being sneaky and winning on technicalities. That's what the bad guys do. Fusion stands for honesty and truth and fair play. Stuff that's important to kids like me. And used to be important to you, too. Ma'am, one ticket, please. At the student ring. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? So, thought you ditched school, eh, Lawson? Huh? I was led to understand you were excused to attend a family reunion. Uh, I was, but uh, my, my, my family got sick and they needed popcorn. March, mister. You're pulling detention for the remainder of the year. But, but... I gotta hand it to you, Teach. This is one for the history books. Shh, it's starting. Please, Miss Finster, I can hear the music. I can hear it. Yeah, yeah, cry me a river buster. I'm in mean, this kind of force field. Only one thing to do now, right, buddy? You know what, Cal? Use the converter gloves, Fusion. I know. I'll use my converter gloves. 